Hopkins. And this is what Johns Hopkins has to say about it. And I hope I'm making the point. This, These are the most astute, hopefully the most astute answers that are derived off the internet for the public, for your public, for my patients, for your patients. And you can see when it, whether it be a public or whether it be a professional reading this, how confusing that would be when the question really is what's causing all the symptoms. So Johns Hopkins says, and it's uh, not a lengthy paragraph, but I'm gonna read the whole thing. John Hopkins has to say about this, in many cases, the actual cause of the disorder is not clear. Well, they're admitting it's not clear. They're admitting that their answer is gonna be confusing, and it is. Sometimes the main cause is excessive strain on the jaw joints and the muscle group that controls chewing, swallowing, and speech. Well, is the, is the effect, is the changes on the muscle groups, is that the cause or is it the effect? Well, actually, it's the effect of the chronic inflammation. So it's not the cause. So it doesn't answer the question. It is not the cause. It's an effect. 